Um, uh, congratulations to, as I always start with that, congratulations to the football club, everybody involved, congratulations to the players, congratulations to the supporters. I thought again, uh, helped us and got us over the line. And um, so proud of these football players, another, another very good performance. Uh, great display of football, good confidence, good intensity, good fight, and so proud. Um, Abena is the coach. Mm-hmm. About him, 16 years old, 24 days. I'm not sure if it's true, but I think I haven't seen such thing happening in South African football in a very long time. Yeah, okay. the, the youngsters are, 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 are and I, I say the, even with Ntando, Keshers, uh, Tando, Sia. Uh, they are a reflection of one, the the investment of the club, two, the hard work of the academy staff, and uh, everyone involved, and then of course the the talents that they have. So, yeah, exciting, exciting. I think the last player I saw with so much. Uh, I just hope I don't jinx him, and and I and I ask also, like I asked with Keshas, be patient. He still has so much. Don't don't put him here. Keep him. This is why the youngsters also stay out a little bit because I try to keep them out of the limelight, and I rotate them a lot because I'm I'm protecting them from from what we've seen and in the past. And I learned I learned this thing with uh, Augustine Matlanoko because I was also involved in in giving him uh, uh, that space. So patience with Mabena, a lot of but so many of these youngsters have so much quality. So just be a bit of patience, allow us to coach them, allow us to to show them, allow us to try to help them. And then um, they are very privileged. I mean, imagine every single day you are 16 years old, you are training with Temba Zwane, Marcelo Allende, Peter Shalulile, uh, Surprise Galani, I mean, uh, so many. And then you have to dribble past Tobi Mvala, Mudao. Imagine every day. So these, these kids are very privileged. So let them continue. And um, yeah. It's, uh, it's one step at a time, step by step, and we try to improve them as, as much as we can. It's good for Mamelodi Sundowns' future, it's good for South African football. Coach, it sounded like there's a, I don't know if it's a comparison, but there's a point that you wanted to make in there. Yes. I don't know if it's just intentionally. Yes. Lost track of your train of thought, but can you just continue on the point that you don't want to jinx him, but, but just finishing off the point is your question? No, no, it's just a problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a question. One, one, one we question can't leave statements hanging. The late Gift Lirimi. Why? I, why what, what, what the, the late Gift Lirimi had is what I see. So I, saw, I see balance left foot, right foot, change of direction at speed. Very difficult in control. But this, of course, uh, he was uh, Vavavum was something special, but I think uh, th- this boy has got also so many characteristics like the late gift. And I hope, as I said, I just hope, I hope it's not a it's not a a crown that's too heavy for him to 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 carry. This question, Coach. Um, sure, Kent. My question is still <laughs> fermenting in my head. Um, I'm not sure if you're aware of this. Um, apparently, I'm gonna sway you all. Football. Apparently, Pharrell and Kanye have been diagnosed with this thing where they see music in colors. They just don't hear and see the notes like everyone else. So now, when we see what we see on the pitch, I mean, our eye test and what we see is different. Can you maybe like take us into the type of 
color palettes that you see when you're watching uh, when you're watching what you work on every single day so hmm. i don't know uh. I don't know. I, I really don't know. I just think I see incredibly gifted football players. I see. That's what I see. Honest. And and you know what? I I learn a lot from them, you know. And I think I think life is is this the story that they are putting is a life lesson for a lot of us, a lot of people. That that if you put your profession first and you put the club first, this is what they do every single day. They, they don't have, I've never seen human beings like this. They don't have, they don't have issues. They don't have, they love each other. They live with, with uh, everybody. You know, they, you put a youngster, they accommodate. They don't look down on people. They don't have gripes. They are just, and that's why God blesses them like this, you know? And they teach me that. They teach me that, that life is not about you. They, they don't, imagine two days after you, you beat al Akhli, you have to come and play Royal AM and you have to do it for the badge and they run, they sacrifice, they don't see their families and then they, they, they still, with that intensity, it's, uh, Maybe let me steal something from 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 Klopp and Pep Lingers and they, when they called Liverpool men talented monsters, I think they're moving into that space. Uh, their mentality is, uh, and and really, like I say, it's life lessons, life lessons that life is not. They they, they put the club first, uh, with everything that they do, they put the club first, and it's big lessons for for many of us. Many, that is is. Is Mamelodi Sundowns first? The club is is a lot bigger than we imagine, and these players understand that assignment, and many of us don't. And uh, coach, uh, you are someone who always uh, encourages people to take a uh, coaching uh, coaching studies or badges. Um, we saw your chairman uh, that he has enrolled. Just your thoughts on that, and how much interest does he have in what's happening in the technical uh, team? Incredible leader, uh, another human being that you just watch him operate, and you say to yourself, what an incredible human being. And so I wish him all the best with the coaching badges, and... Um, He'll, he'll probably pass with flying colors because that's, that's what he does with everything he does. He is, is, is just uh, surpasses all expectations. So, so I wish him all the best and uh, yeah. Uh, congratu congratulations on the victory again, Coach uh, Kamukhelo from South Africa. Sure, um, you're still on this incredible unbeaten run since taking sole charge of of sundowns um you seem to be garnering a lot of interest from some of the north african giants uh with that then al ali to be specific uh, from what reports claim is a move to north africa something that you see yourself doing in the future in the vision for yourself mm -mm. i'm here I'm here and I, I want to be here for as much as I can and as much as the club wants me here, I'm here. I'm, I'm loyal. Uh, I try to be as honest as I possibly can with my day-to-day. -day. I, I try to serve this club. And as long as they appreciate me here and they show that they still want me here, I'm here. I'm, I'm, and Mama Lutis Sundowns has done that. Since I've taken over, they've supported me, they've given me everything, and I've got no reason to turn my back on this football club. Good evening, coach. Sure, Karabo. Uh, felicitations on the victory. I think all Super. Okay. I love your English. Eh? You teach me. I love, I, and seriously, I really do. Thank you, coach. I tell you. Coach, uh, 
The direction of travel with this team is absolutely second to none, but I just want to understand for you personally, coach, what makes a perfect Mamelodi Sundowns player, in particular for the third goal? There's a lot of things in that goal. Uh, technical awareness of the player, yeah. technical as well. Uh, what, what for you makes a perfect Mamelodi Sundowns player? Good human beings. First and foremost, being a very good human being helps. And these, and these, these players are just good human beings. And every day I've, I watch them and I, I, I'm improving myself as a person. I, I get better just watching them as a person. And I think that's what helps to be a, to be a, a top Sundowns player is that you've, you're just a good human being. Uh, coach, coach, sure, no, sorry. Uh, the Sunday lost. Sun played out Ali in Cairo. Uh, I saw a video on Tico Football and they were speaking about this new trend of uh, the centre backs taking a goal kick and playing it back to the goalkeeper and then the goalkeeper playing the ball. And I was like, aha, I saw this last, last night in, in Cairo. Maybe we were doing it before, but I, I, I wasn't noticing it. Can you give us a bit of insight? Maybe not too much of. How, how that gives gives you an edge uh, in, in the build-up and uh, what's its future in football? Oh, um, it's a question that I need a little bit more time to go through it with you. The requirements is, of course, special awareness. The keeper has to have the ability, of course, and you can't you can't force something that you don't have the, the ability to do because it's, 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 it's the pass and then the receiving. But what is important is um, oh, so there's a lot of detail, but the space is so so think football, think think pressing. And then think angling of the strikers to direct to direct it to areas where the best the best defensive teams are the ones that defend in sp smaller spaces. But if if it goes if it goes keeper centre back, is easier to direct to a smaller space. But if it goes centre back keeper, the pace is a, the the space is a lot bigger because the pitch is a lot bigger from a central position. And then it's there or there or there, so the options a little bit are a little bit more open, but then the keeper must be able to find the possibilities, because if 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 the spaces are closed in here, he has to put it in here, risky but has possibilities. You saw, uh, fifth goal, you saw also the th some of the build ups here today. The the ball now is available in the ten, or Shish is available in the ten. Or maybe you find the six if the first line. The, it's a lot of detail, a lot of hours on the training pitch uh, because they have to have the confidence, uh, but also because you have the quality of players. The players must be good enough to be able to execute. And and in this uh, moment, it's, it's, it's because we have very, very good players. Good. Can we allow two last questions? Master, then... Sure. Yeah, coach, I wanted to ask about the... Mm -hmm. How 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 safe would you say you are in that you know centre back position because there seems to and and you haven't had that much consistency this year because there was a time when I think uh, 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 Rush was there and then uh, Mandela comes in and then there's there's Grant but it hasn't been consistent but they always get the job done. Um. Fortunately, then you can also extend to go to River, who can play there. So I think we are we are more than covered in that space. Uh, we have, um, I think, I think, I think Grant is the is the best box defender I have seen in South Africa. Box uh, when I'm I, I'm uh, when I say box, I mean the penalty area. Uh, Victor Gomez is going to get very upset with me. It's called the penalty area. Uh, I call I call them boxes. But the grant is the, the look at the, the the example of and that maybe um, I'm I'm not answering your question because I'm no. I'm jumping a little bit ahead. Um, 
Others call it the red zone, others call it uh, that. I, I call it the box. And I've, I haven't, and I, I was speaking to him the other day, I said, I haven't seen this. Toby makes a mistake, there's an overload in the box. Grant doesn't commit and he waits. He reads this against, against Allah. I've never seen this. So he says to me, I've been doing this my whole life. I've been defending the box my whole life, uh, tax, uh, super sport. He's, this guy is, is, is so intelligent. And modern day center backs now need, uh, need uh, playmaking abilities. So it helps when you have um, Toby refined. Uh, Brian Nyango today was. I, said, Wait, I don't know where this monster is coming from. Uh, Brian Nyango, Musa has been outstanding. Uh, Toby Mvala, uh, and scored a go good goal today and deserves it. Uh, Rushin before the the concussion super super uh, had a, an outstanding game in uh, Mbombela. Uh, just before he got, you got, you um, got substituted with the concussion. Uh, we are we are lucky we have such such good players, and they also then make part of a very good team. They are good human beings, and they make, yeah, they make, um, they they make part of a very good team. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, coach, you know, I, I wanted to. I, I actually have a beef with you. I just want to plant this thing in your head. Uh, I know jo you don't, jo you, you join the f <laughs> join the many. I know you don't like uh, speaking on individual players and praising players, but coach, you you mentioned so many things that you hadn't seen in a while. But coach Temba, like uh, for a player who hasn't been who's been at the club for twenty years. Mm -hmm. Twelve years now. Ten. No, no, he arrived in twenty eleven. Yeah. He's twenty twenty three now. Uh, coach, like uh, the the performances, because now I was thinking to just like the temper I saw in twenty eighteen, twenty nineteen is not the temper I'm seeing now. So good with his back to go, uh, glides on the pitch, coach. <sighs> Sorry to break this guy. No, it's okay. Uh, <laughs> Goosebumps. Could, could, could you could you please break your gorgeous? <laughs> gorgeous. <laughs> I, I know you don't like praising individual Oof. players, coach, but you... You will run out of superlatives. Keep going. You need a thesaurus. Here, yeah, you need a thesaurus. Poof. I don't know. I said, I, I, no, I don't know. But behind, behind the, f the footballer is an incredible person. An incredible human being. I, I've... I really, I really, he, he amazes me. He's, he's, he, and, and you know what, he, the, the, the modern day leader is an influencer. A modern day leader. And, and that's Mshishi. Mshishi is an influencer. He walks in, there's, he grabs people's attention. He has this thing about him. He doesn't demand it. He doesn't. He doesn't force people into it. He he gives it. He gives respect to people. He he he's good to people, and then people in return are good to him. And I I think he deserves to be captain of of Mamelodi Sundowns. At this, imagine uh, Dennis Onyango comes in. I'm talking Dennis Onyango. I'm talking one of the best in the continent with Dennis. And and rightfully so, Dennis has kept in this football club for many, many years to incredible trophies. And Dennis, when he comes in, he says, no, the, the unbent must stay with him. She, she, Im, imagine that, Kent's. No, and don't, don't look at it and, and listen to it at face value. Think, add, Add accolades, uh, profile to 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 the people I'm talk the two people I'm talking about. I don't, I don't, I don't have, I don't have words for for Mshishi, but I, I see others are coming and learning and being influenced by him, and they are developing this these human qualities. 
respect uh, seven sheep, you know, seven sheep here. Uh, what do you need? I'm here, uh, you know, and they, they develop in these things. And uh, the football club is in, is in good hands. The football club is in good hands. Thank you. Thank you, guys.